1960, due to the boycott, the economic boycott that was placed against Afro-Americans. And many of us could not purchase goods and services in Fayette County. It was then that John decided to rent the little store that his brother operated. But the brother had relocated because of the pressure. And it was our feeling that if we opened that store, that many of the items that people had to drive out of town to get could be provided there on the local level because uh, most of us could not even purchase gasoline for our vehicles, groceries, and things of the nature. Okay, but if, if, we, if it was so hard to buy things in Fayette County, where did John go to provide things for the store? Um, John went outside of Fayette County. However, there were uh, opposition in, in many of those places. The blacklist had been circulated, uh, saying that there were people on that list that should not be uh, sold to. And he went into Shelby County in Memphis, Tennessee, the most, to pick up supplies. When he got up a mornings, we owned a 1955 Ford, and he would take the back seat out of that automobile and go out to purchase groceries, um, just many things that he would need to sell in the store, and including soft drinks, ice cream, all of this he would pack into that 55 Ford. But he couldn't drive up to the wholesale houses and purchase these goods and services. Um, many of the salespeople would tell him that the trucks would be out and if he would just drive around into the back streets of the town of Memphis and into Shelby County, whenever he saw one of the trucks that delivered the type of uh, goods and services that he was interested in, that if he approached them, they would sell to him. So he had to do 